When you think of brands with a proud motorsport history, Skoda probably isn't the first that springs to mind, but they would like to change that with this, the Skoda Fabia Monte Carlo, named after one of the world's most iconic rally races. But if you're expecting a race spec pocket rocket, prepare to be just a little bit disappointed. The Fabia Monte Carlo joins the existing Fabia range, all of which have been updated for the 2017 model year. It scores the same engine as the current top spec model, producing an unchanged 81 kilowatts and 175 newton meters from its 1.2 litre turbocharged engine. That power is channeled through a 7-speed DSG gearbox and sent to the Fabia's front wheels. It's enough to push the Fabia to 100 kilometers an hour in a not very rally 9.4 seconds, or 9.6 seconds if you opt for the wagon, which is being offered in the Monte Carlo for the first time. Still, it's not exactly sporty. So what do you get then? Well, the good people at Skoda have fitted the Monte Carlo with a sportier suspension tune than the standard one found on the rest of the range. Plus, it's been designed to evoke the spirit of those old rally cars too. So you get the black grille, along with side skirts, spoiler, and a rear diffuser. And you get these 17 inch black alloys. Inside, you get these sports seats with the red and black trim. Now that's bespoke to the Monte Carlo. You get this cool glass roof, which is absolutely massive. You get an Apple CarPlay or Android Auto equipped touchscreen. You get cruise control and a standard reversing camera. As always with Skoda, practicality is key and things like push button start and keyless entry arrive as standard. The wagon body shape carries a $1,150 premium over the hatch. Ticking that box, however, will give you 505 litres of space with the rear seats up and an impressive 1,370 litres with the seats folded flat. So there's something simple about the way the car drives too, but it all feels pretty well connected. And it's not fast, but what power there is is concentrated at the low end of the rev range. So when you're pulling away from lights or getting started, it gets up and going pretty quickly. While the equipment level has been improved, the fit out hasn't, so it still feels like you're sitting in a base car. All the touch points are lined with this rock hard plastic and it doesn't feel particularly premium. And it's not a cheap car. It should probably give you a greater sense of luxury than what it does. Hot hatch, it is not. But it is fun, well equipped and packed with standard safety equipment. Plus in wagon form, it offers more versatility than anybody else in the city car segment. To read the full review, click here, and don't forget to subscribe to stay on top of all our latest videos.